Welcome to FixItForgetIt.com Where projects and ideas come together. Hi, this is John from FixItForgetIt.com These frameless shower doors are quite popular now. They do have their drawback. They're probably made for showers that are a little larger than the one we have. This is a fairly small shower and when you're splashing around that close to a door that doesn't have a frame on it it's pretty likely you're going to have leaks and problems. This one's been an ongoing problem. We've tried various sweeps. You can see that little plastic sweep along the bottom. Nothing works. Especially because on the left side of this curb the people who put this shower in slanted this thing downhill and quite a bit. I think it's maybe a quarter inch or three-eighths off over the span of this curb and you can see a little bit of urethane rubber right there and that is a little dam that I made and it is mounted with a special type of double face tape. It's an indoor outdoor Scotch brand tape made by 3M and this stuff really works well and I am going to tell you more about that and show you how I made this. This is a pretty radical fix in that once you put that on obviously you cannot swing the door out into the room you can only swing it into the shower but for us it's well worth it we got sick of having water come out here on the floor every time we took a shower didn't like putting towels and things down there to try to catch it and then the towel would get soaked and it was just a, a mess this has completely stopped that and it is a long-term fix so I'll show you how we do that this thing it would just pour the water out of this corner um, I mean a lot so that came to an end when I put this little dam on there and what you have to do is just uh, have someone take a shower and then as the water comes out just measure how far up you need to come in order to stop that leak in our case it was only uh, about six inches or so this is a little piece of urethane rubber and I think it's about 5 eighths by 5 eighths. The one that I got happened to have this little machined bullnose on it. They don't all come that way. This was probably 20 inches or so, 20-22 inches long when I got it. And I cut it down and just used a hacksaw. And what's nice about this hard urethane rubber I mean you know it, you, it's flexible you know you can bend it but um, it's still pretty hard to the point where you can sort of sand and form this and uh, machine the edges and so on it will uh, leave a little bit of a rough edge there I used a real fine I started with about a 150 grit sandpaper to smooth it up and then finished it with about a 600 grit just to make it real smooth so that this stuff would stick and what this is there's this little red vinyl coating on this double face tape this is made by 3M and this stuff it holds like it never wants to let go I, this really works well I've used this many years for a lot of different projects you can use it indoors or out and this is how the roll comes just a big roll it's gray actually and when you skin this little red vinyl coat off of there then it's gray like that on both sides and uh, what I did was just put it on the urethane rubber and you can see how it overhangs a bit there you line one edge up perfectly and then I had, because I used to be in the carpet industry, I had these carpet shears that have this curved handle, but you don't need that. And you just 
come along and, and trim the excess of this double face tape off. You also, uh, before you start cutting and finishing this little urethane rubber, you might want to take a piece of cardboard and put it back in here and just stand it on its edge and make sure you figure out what the radius is down here with your caulking because you want to make sure that you have the exact same radius you can take your cardboard and transfer that radius to this urethane in my case it's it's almost um, a 90 with just a tiny little shoulder knocked off there. Once you get that uh, finished and fixed up, ready to go, I just use this denatured alcohol, have it in this little Vargo uh, bottle. I love these things. They're made for alcohol stoves and camping and that kind of stuff, but I've never had one leak and uh, you can squeeze and mash around them. They work great. I just used a paper towel and moistened it with the denatured alcohol to clean the tile. You can also, you know, after you cut and sand this urethane rubber, you can use a, an old uh, t-shirt, something that's a, sort of a fine weave cotton and just dampen it a bit with uh, that denatured alcohol and wipe this down to make sure that any debris that's on there from cutting and sanding that just make sure that that's not going to be a problem and that will take care of that. It would have been a lot better obviously if they'd have had this curb level but we've tried various types of little sweeps that go on the bottom of the doors this one is the one we're currently using. It has this little angle piece of plastic that goes toward the inside. It originally had a couple of rubber fins on the bottom that seemed to be more of a problem than a solution. They would push the water in and out and back and forth. So I just cut them off. It seems to work a little better now. And I just push these down as far as they'll go and then back it off just very slightly so that the door will smoothly swing back and forth. And uh, But these things do not stop the water, especially down in that corner. So that's why I went the route of the little rubber dam. These urethane bars aren't as easy to find as one would think. I thought they'd probably be all over the place, but I, um, at the time I got this one, I didn't see any available on Amazon. I got this off of eBay. If I can find a link to something other than an auction that the link will be obsolete, I'll put a link down there for you. Otherwise, you just want to do uh, keyword searches for urethane bar, urethane rubber bar, those sort of keywords and just put in the size that you want to get. Next I'm going to skin this little red jacket off of there and here's where you got to really be careful because you get one shot at this. You want to get it exactly where you want it to go and uh, try to get that little heel down in this corner set as tight and as far back there as you can it's a bit of a trick. If you get it stuck here too much, then you can't go down. If you get it stuck there, you can't go back. So you really got to be careful and make sure it's snug in there and drop it down. I peeled the little red vinyl jacket off of the back of the double face tape and I put this dam in place and I gently, I, I took it at a bit of an angle like this and tucked that corner right down in to the caulking and pushed backward that way a little as I was pushing down and once that was seated in there carefully started to roll this down and push it into place you want to get just a old dull screwdriver that doesn't have much of a bite on there and if you have to maybe get one and uh, lightly file or wire brush it so that uh, it's a little blunt 
and you want to get right in this corner and you don't want to gouge this urethane. So come out about a quarter of an inch and be at a little bit of a downward angle and lightly push that back in, nudge it back into that bottom corner and then you want to make sure that you are really tucked and tight. That's real important. I came in and I just lightly tapped this thing all up and down there with the rubber mallet. Now for the moment of truth. Let's water test it. See how it does. Oh, I put too much in there. It came up past the dam. Uh, when we're showering, it doesn't do that. But as you can see, I have standing water here. And I have nothing out here to dry. Standing water, nice and dry, all along here. So, that works really well. What's really nice about making a urethane dam mounted with the 3M exterior double-faced tape, that water will just sit there and over time it just sort of drains back into the shower and dissipates. And you never have to worry again about caulking breaking down or some sort of a barrier that will fail. I don't know how long that double face tape would last. That thing was in there for two years before. I bet you could get at least five, maybe 10 years out of one of these things. I mean, the urethane isn't going to degrade. The double face tape is so durable. I've used that stuff outside and it's been there for many years. So I think uh, if you make yourself a dam like that, you're going to be set for a long time. So that's it. This is John from FixItForgetIt.com. I will have some affiliate links down in the description to some of these products and you're welcome to use those and I appreciate you stopping by and we will see you in the next video.